don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane. That table can only mean one thing. We'll be playing the Sega Genesis. Today's episode of Memory Lane, we're going to be checking out the unthinkable, unimaginable Super Mario 3 on the Sega Genesis. I mean, who would ever even think that this would be even a real thing? I mean, look at this. This is Super Mario 3 on a Sega Genesis. How is this even possible? And uh, the label actually looks really good. Whoever made this label, kudos to that person. Because actually, the print quality is actually really nice. It's not bad at all. And uh, it looks really nice. They have the little Sega seal quality right there. You got the Sega logo down here. So, uh, yeah. We got these 16-bit uh, bootleg cartridges. Anytime you see a cartridge with that on it, you automatically know this is a bootleg. And this is a void, and it's completely misspelled. Exposing cartridge to extreme temperature. Be careful not to immerse cartridge in water for protection when cartridge is not in use place cartridge inside protective plastic case okay so cheap plastic cartridges the uh, label quality is actually quite nice uh, really really good job to whoever did it and of course your typical labels these these labels they always peel like upwards at the end so you have to like continuously push them back down. But the print quality is really nice. So whoever did that, good job. That's actually really nice. So how the hell do you get Super Mario 3 on a Sega Genesis? I'm very curious to go check this out. I've never even seen a ROM hack of this before. I mean, what is this? This is bizarre. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the Sega Genesis and we're gonna put this in and I guess we're gonna be playing Super Mario 3 on the Sega Genesis. What what the hell is this? Let's go find out. Alright, so we have our Sega Genesis right there with our 32X plugged in on the top of it, that big huge tower power mushroom. We got our copy of Super Mario 3 for the Sega Genesis. I never even thought I would even see such a thing. So let's put that in there. And now uh, let's head over to the CRT and let's play Super Mario 3 on the Sega Genesis. I never thought I would even say such a thing. Alright, let's get uh, excited here. We're going to be playing Super Mario 3 on the uh, Sega Genesis. What the hell is this? Looks like we have uh, some Russian... Some Russian uh, illustration here, some writing. I wish I could tell you what that says, but I can't. I don't speak Russian. And it looks like uh, Toad and uh, Mario are having a bit of a discussion. Toad is crying. He's having a fit. And uh, we have a Super Mario. This is Mario 3. Something, something, something. And I have no idea what the hell I am playing. This is really weird. This is a Russian version of Super Mario 3? What the hell? Let's uh, start the game. What the hell is that? That's weird. That's the most worst illustration of Mario I've ever seen. Okay, this is definitely not what I was expecting. I thought this was going to be an actual copy of Super Mario 3. For the sake of chances, but this is not what I was expecting here. This is weird. What the hell? This is strange. And the music's like a... ridiculous, like, techno music. Okay. Is this game like a broken-ass game or what? I tried to go down that tunnel and it froze. Let's try that again. That is... 
the worst Super Mario illustration I've ever seen in my life. I mean, what the hell? Who made that? This is weird. Alright, so the last time we tried to go down that tunnel, it froze. So now we're exploring parts unknown here. We really don't know what the hell this game is. What's the deal with this game? This is a weird game. I mean, we're literally seeing Super Mario on a Sega Genesis, which is really weird in itself. But this game, apparently, is some weird rushing game. Okay, so you can you can definitely run. The controls are really weird. Sound effects are weird. Alright, so how the hell do you... Oh my god. This game is... Now the last time I tried to go down a tunnel, the game froze. Okay, this time it didn't. So, from what I gather, based on what I'm seeing on this game, it was some sort of weird bootleg Super Mario 3 game developed in Russia for the Sega Mega Drive. And somehow, they called it Super Mario 3. It has nothing to do with Super Mario 3 at all. It looks like a Super Mario... Okay. So apparently this is level two. It is quite interesting. I'll give it that. Oh, I died! What the hell was that? The, uh, the sound effects are horrible. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can make that jump. Make it! Oh my God! What the hell kind of enemy is that up there? What is that? Is that a fish? Yeah, I think the game froze. This is definitely a uh, quite the broken bootleg Super Mario game right here. This is not working as well as the other the other games I tried out. What is this? I can't get over that illustration of Mario. That is the weirdest thing ever. I mean, look at that thing. It's like... That illustration of Mario kind of haunts me. So... It has, like, Asian eyes. Nothing against anyone that's Asian. And it has, like, the Egyptian pose. It's just a really weird bizarre illustration of Mario. I'm not sure if the Russians realize that Mario is an Italian plumber. I don't know if I have any Russian uh, viewers on Game of Blues Empire, but if there is any Russian viewers, can you explain this game to me? Like, was this a normal thing over in Russia? Like, for the Mega Drive, or what? So I know that the Dandy or the Dendi, which was uh, their version of the NES, had a lot of oh, had a lot of weird games. Now, a lot of the games were translated to Russia, so I'm interesting in uh, in knowing a little bit more about this game. And this game def definitely does not seem to be complete. And what do we have here? I have no idea what any of this is. And we got that Mario weird picture thing, whatever the hell. Oh my god, what the hell? Did I mess with my controls up? No. So this to verify that this game is broken, I'm going to try to go down that tunnel again. What the hell? 
So wait a minute, this time he went down the tunnel and then the game froze. What the hell is that? Wow, this game is a piece of crap. My Sega Genesis does not like this game at all. So apparently you can go down that tunnel. Is it me or did the music change? That music sounds different from the last time. And then there we go, the game uh, first again. This game is definitely uh, not what I was expecting. I thought I was going to be playing Super Mario 3, the real game, on the Sega Genesis. But this ended up being some weird Russian bizarre Super Mario game that I've never seen before in my life. And it's really weird. And it, my Sega Genesis hates this game. In fact, it probably locked up and froze probably like five times during this video. So that is interesting. And uh, that, this is not going to be the only Super Mario game that we try out. So I have a couple more back here uh, that we're going to be trying out for this Sega Genesis. That apparently some weird stuff. So uh, stay tuned for more episodes of Memory Lane. And don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. It's pretty soon you're going to be seeing more bizarre, weird bootleg cartridges on the Sega Genesis. Weird stuff. So stay tuned.